experts in the health sector have kicked against the federal government's plan to fortify bullion cubes, also known as season cubes, commonly used in most Nigerian homes for meal preparation among the food vehicles for delivering iron and zinc to citizens in order to combat micronutrient deficiencies in the country. At a press conference this Thursday in Abuja, a coalition of civil society anchored on the promotion of public health in the country warned against the fortification of bullion cubes, which usually contain high percentages of sodium as it could be highly dangerous for the country, which is already battling with a surge in non-communicable and cardiovascular diseases including hypertension, stroke and diabetes. Clevis Gloria Atta has the details. Nigeria currently battles a double burden of malnutrition where undernutrition including micronutrient deficiencies exist alongside obesity and diet related non-communicable diseases. To address widespread micronutrient deficiencies, especially among women and young children in developing regions such as Nigeria, the World Health Organization alongside other bodies promotes the consumption of micronutrient fortified foods in local staples. Mandatory fortification of staple foods in Nigeria began in 1993 with a combination of salt and iodine. The fortification of sugar and edible oil with vitamin A has also been mandated as well as the fortification of wheat, semolina and maize flour with multiple micronutrients such as iron and vitamins A and B12. Following the federal government's recent unveiling of the National Food Consumption and Micronutrient Survey in Abuja in April this year, there have been reports of plans to formally approve the fortification of bullion cubes, a popular seasoning product for meal preparation in most Nigerian households, also called stock or seasoning cubes, among the food vehicles to increase the intake of specific nutrients like iron and zinc in households in order to combat micronutrient deficiencies in the country. Reacting to the development at a press conference in Abuja, Experts in the health sector say the move would further increase the burden of excessive salt consumption that has become a pressing health concern in Nigeria, contributing to the rising burden of non-communicable diseases such as hypertension, cardiovascular diseases and stroke, which currently account for 29% of all deaths in Nigeria. The recent food insecurity and economic crisis in our country has led to a significant rise in the living expenses of Nigerians, where the masses can no longer afford basic food items, such as gari, giving industries the urge to produce cheaper and ready to use ultra-processed alternatives with low nutritional and health benefits. In such situations where nutritious food is costly, People only feed to satisfy hunger. However, it's our responsibility to ensure that Nigerians don't eat poison. To this effect, we are demanding the immediate discontinuation of the ongoing plans to use bullion as a food vehicle for fortification as it does not meet all of WHO criteria. Collaboration between all critical agencies on ensuring that food fortification does not exacerbate Nigeria's NCT problems through unintended consequences. The World Health Organization recommends a daily sodium intake of less than 2 grams, equivalent of 5 grams of salt, a day for adults. Yet, many Nigerians consume far more than this due to the high sodium content in these commonly used products. Moreover, the marketing practices surrounding these products often mislead consumers into believing they are making healthier choices. Monosodium glutamate, otherwise known as MSD, for example, is frequently advertised as a safer alternative to table salt, despite its very high sodium content. This has resulted in widespread misinformation further exacerbating the public health crisis. The choice of a food vehicle must align with all of WHO's criteria. And one major criteria is that if you're choosing a particular food, 
to fortify it with nutrients, it must pose no risk to public health. Bullion poses a huge risk to public health by giving the people hypertension. Now, you cannot say that you want to fortify bullion with iron. You are tackling anemia, but giving the people hypertension because the concentration of sodium in bullion is way higher than the concentration of sodium in salt. They are also calling on the federal government and relevant regulatory bodies to monitor the various fortification programs to ensure compliance with global standards and best practices in the interest of public health. Gloria Atta, reporting for Clearview News.